It is a chilly Friday evening, and Eric, just home after a daunting week at work, wrestles with a nagging feeling. This couldn't be all there was to life, while a voice of despair shouts within him. Another more hopeful voice insists that the only way out of this rut is to forge a new path for himself the real change. It says begins with oneself. It's a simple yet profound revelation, pondering over this converse between despair and hope. Eric chooses not to surrender to negativity. Instead, he focuses on the idea of reinventing himself. How could he do that? The answer was not immediately clear, but a memory of his friend Liam, whose life had taken a drastic turn for the better. Through a philosophy he mentioned, often called Stoicism, F.S. Eric, with hope. Despite his exhaustion, Eric is motivated to find out more as he lies awake. His last thoughts before sleep are filled with determination. Eric thinks to himself, if Liam could turn his life around with Stoicism, why couldn't he? If you've ever felt stuck like Eric, locked in a cycle of routine, consider this an invitation to explore how Stoicism can empower you. What aspects of your life could benefit from a Stoioiki transformation? In this video, we'll unravel exactly how you can leverage Stoicism to reinvent yourself starting today and truly transform your life from within. Stay tuned for a journey to rediscover your resilience and wisdom. It's time to plot a course for self-reinvention. And here's how one starts small heart pounding. You look closely into your eyes in the mirror, seeing beyond your reflection to the essence of who you are Yet within this intimate moment of self-observation, you're gripped by a profound desire for transformation. Here's a piece of wisdom from the ancient Stoics to hold close. Reinvention is not only possible, but it also starts with the smallest of steps. Zeno, the foundational voice of Stoicism, once remarked, well-being is realized by small steps, but it is no small thing as you stand at the brink of wanting to redefine who you are. Don't let the magnitude of change intimidate you. Imagine trying to construct a giant cathedral from scratch. Introspect on the careful placement of each brick, the placement of each beam. That's how reinvention works. It's not a hasty undertaking, but a process of meticulous assembly. It's about these small changes piece by piece that shape the overarching magnificence of who you will become. This is not about grand sweeping transformations, but a series of deliberate steps that gather to create Profound change over time, a falling dominoes effect reaching towards a grand crescendo, draw upon the power of atomic habits as popularized by James Clear. Remember, an atom is the smallest unit yet it holds immense power. Similarly, it's our tiniest habits that turn out to be the cornerstone of dramatic reinvention. If you aspire to become more empathetic, start small, genuinely smile at someone, listen consciously when someone shares their story or lend a helping hand without expecting anything in return. Each small act, believe it or not, ushers in the monumental change. Here's the stoic twist. Don't distract yourself with grand ambitions or unattainable dreams. Instead, focus on the immediate and achievable task at hand. Supposing you want to be more assertive today, stand your ground on one small issue each day. Let this assertiveness crystallize further. Let all these small victories string together to pave the way for a transformed, you dream big but start small because true change starts within the confines of the seemingly insignificant. It invites you to scale the heights one step at a time, leading to more sustainable and impactful transformation. Two, stop letting anxiety rule over you on a dark and stormy night. Eric found himself drawn to Marcus Aurelius's personal journal meditations, a book that opens the door to Stowe ISM a philosophy as relevant now as it was in ancient Rome. Anchored deep within its pages was a quote that hit him like a bolt of lightning today. 
I escaped anxiety, or no, I discarded it because it was within me. In my own perceptions and not outside this moment marked a crucial point in Eric's journey into self-reinvention, showing him that the battle was not with the world, but with his perception of it. This journey isn't just about changing what you do, it's about changing how you see. Your vision shapes your path. If you view life as a series of insurmountable obstacles, that's all you'll ever encounter, but see it as a playground of possibilities and the game changes. Eric realized that just like him, we often hold on to our anxieties, like a familiar blanket. Not because it's comfortable, but because it's all we know. Discarding this blanket means stepping out into the cold. Yet it's only in the cold that we can truly learn to kindle our own fire. The process of reinventing oneself is akin to sailing across an uncharted sea. You must be willing to lose sight of the shore to discover new horizons. It's natural to feel fear when the land fades from view. But remember, it's the same ocean. Whether you're viewing it from the safety of the shore or the heart of the deep, Marcus Aelius teaches us that it's not the ocean to fear, but our capacity to navigate it. Eric learned that to reinvent himself, he didn't need to become someone else. He just needed to master the helm of his own thoughts to anyone standing at the crossroads of change. Remember this, the essence of reinvention lies within your perception. It doesn't demand that you erase who you were instead, it invites you to sculpt who you are becoming like Eric, find your meditations, embrace the stoic wisdom that whispers power lies not in external events, but in your reactions. To them, let this be your guide as you chart your course towards reinvention. The only chains holding you back are the ones you've placed on yourself. Break free and discover the vastness of your own potential. Three, create a routine with the passing of time. We often find ourselves standing at crossroads, pondering the question of self-reinvention. It's a profound journey, not just about changing what's on the outside, but transforming who we are on the inside. This transformation demands more than just fleeting desires. It requires a foundation as solid as bedrock. A routine, Seneca once illuminated this path. By stating life without a design is erratic. Embedding this wisdom into the fabric of our daily lives paves the way to true change. Imagine your life as a vast, unexplored terrain Every step taken without direction is a step into the unknown, potentially leading, leading you away from your desired destination. Now consider the power of a compass guiding you through this terrain a wealth thought out routine acts as this. Compass ensuring every step moves you closer to the person you aspire to become. It's not about constraining yourself with a rigid timetable, but about architect in your days around activities that feed your soul, challenge your mind, and build your strength to embark on this journey of reinvention. Start by identifying the moments when you feel most alive, your zenith of creativity and focus. Direct these peak hours towards activities that mirror the person you aim to be. If your vision is to become more insightful, allocate time to read and reflect. Should physical vitality be your aim? Make exercise non-negotiable in your daily plan. The essence is to align your actions with your aspirations, crafting each day as a stepping stone towards your renewed self. But here's the cornerstone consistency. The mightiest of rivers starts as a humble stream, its power growing with every mile it flows similarly the impact of your routine amplifies with steadfast dedication. Embrace this structure, but allow room for growth and adaptation. Change, after all, is not a destination, but a journey as you. Journey forth, arm yourself with routines that nurture not just productivity, but balance and well-being, transforming the erratic into the eloquent and steering your life by the compass of deliberate action for. Give yourself the order to stop lost in thought. Have you ever found yourself pondering the path not taken? The version of you that remains unexplored, 
Stories of reinvention are not just the stuff of legends or the tales of heroes. Past, they whisper possibilities into the hearts of anyone brave enough to listen. Consider Dwight D. Eisenhower, a man who, facing the harm of a four-pack a day, smoking habit, decided to give himself an order to stop. This wasn't merely about quitting smoking, it was a profound act of becoming. The master of his fate, he didn't just discard a bad habit. He found a deeper strength within a strength that each of us possesses reinvention begins with a single step, giving yourself the order to stop. To stop settling, to stop doubting, to stop being the passenger in your own life. It's about staring down those parts of yourself that you've allowed to take control, be it fee, complacency, or the comfort of the known, and deciding that today you choose a different path. This is the essence of Stoicism, an invitation to reclaim your power by asserting control over your choices. As Epictetus said, no man is free who is not master of himself. Your chains are not locked by anyone but you. Now think of that one thing that keeps you anchored to the person, you know, longer wish to be. It could be a job that doesn't fulfill you, relationships that don't uplift you, or habits that don't serve you. Recognize them for what they are, familiar haunts on a map you've outgrown, the call to reinvent yourself is not an easy journey. It requires the courage to give yourself a new order, one that doesn't just challenge the status quo, but seeks to transcend it. This isn't a about gradual shifts. It's about a decisive step toward who you're meant to become as you stand at the crossroads, ready to give yourself the order to reinvent. Remember this, you are the architect of your destiny power to reshape your life lies in the simple yet radical act of choosing a new direction. It's the realization that you're not define your future unless you allow it to. So as we look toward the horizon of tomorrow, let's embrace the spirit of stoicism, not just as a philosophy, but as a call to action. Let's not just dream of the person we can become. Let's take the commanding steps to be that person. Five free up precious resources. With the passing of time, we often find ourselves at a crossroads, questioning the very essence of who we are and who we wish to become. This journey of self-reinvention is not just about changing what we do, but fundamentally rethinking how we allocate our most precious resources, time and focus. Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of more than two millennia, offers a practical guide to navigating this path. Epictetus, one of the wisest Stoics once shared, if you wish to improve, be willing to appear clueless or stupid in exchange for growth. This seemingly simple advice unravels a complex truth about human behavior. Too often we cling to what's familiar. Even if it's at the cost of our growth, we scroll through our phones, binge watch shows, and get lost in the noise of the world simply because it's comfortable. But what if we chose to allocate our time to activities that actually serve our journey of becoming who we wish to be, the task at hand? Isn't to shun modern technology or to retreat from society but rather to become acutely conscious of where our attention goes. Start by tracking how you spend your days. Notice how many hours slip through your fingers, caught up in things that neither challenge you nor bring you closer to your goals. Awareness is the first step. The second, more challenging step is action. Prioritize learning over leisure creation, over consumption and conversations that stimulate over gossip that drains as you embark on this journey of reinvention, armed with the wisdom of the Stoics. Remember that every choice to spend your time on something meaningful is a step forward in your transformation. It's not about monumental changes overnight, but the everyday decisions that over time mold you into the person you aspire to be. Let's honour the passage of time, not by counting the days, but by making the days count. 
After all, the art of reinvention isn't just about changing yourself, it's about liberating yourself to live a life that resonates with your deepest values and aspirations. If the process of self-reinvention resonates with you, let us know in the, the comments and leave a like to help this video reach more people seeking positive change in their Live Six. Do something difficult when Seneca, a legend among Stoics, welcomed every new year. Not with mere resolutions, but with a daring plunge into the icy Tiber. He wasn't just taking a dip. He was taking control. This wasn't about battling the cold, but igniting a fierce determination. Within, in making it clear, he ruled his spirit, embracing tough challenges, isn't just about proving something to the world, it's about proving something to yourself. Imagine trying to reinvent yourself. It's not about changing your skin, it's about transforming your core, shaping your essence into something stronger, more resilient. Think of it like remodeling a house from the inside out. It's not merely slapping on new paint or PL hunting flowers out front. It's knocking down walls that can find you, gutting out the parts that don't serve you anymore, and rebuilding from the ground up. It's difficult, sure, but every swing of the hammer, every nail driven deep is a declaration. I am the architect of my fate. How do you apply this to your life? Start with one challenging task that makes you uncomfortable. Maybe it's public speaking, maybe it's, it's committing to fitness, or perhaps it's sitting down to write a book. It's not important what you choose. The significance lies in stepping into the arena, knowing the battle won't be easy, but stepping in anyway through these challenges. You're not just surviving, you're thriving, sculpting yourself into the person you aspire to be. Let's be clear, reinventing yourself is no walk in the park. It demands courage to face the unknown and the resilience to keep pushing when every fiber of your being wants to retreat. But here's the truth. The most rewarding achievements aren't at the end of an easy path. There are top mountains that demand to be climbed. So let Seneca's icy plunge inspire you. Choose your river to cross. Embrace the cold and emerge on the other side. Not just as someone new, but as someone more. Remember, it's in doing the difficult that we find our true strength. Seven, associate with people who make you better. Choosing the people we walk through life with is much like picking your team in a game where the goal is personal growth and wisdom. Seneca, a sage from the Stoic era, teaches us through his timeless letters to associate with those who will make a better man of you. It's not just about gathering friends, it's about curating a circle that mirrors the qualities you value and aspire towards picture. Every interaction as a brick in the foundation, flawed, so will be the foundation. Look closely at who you spend your time with. Do these people lift you up or drag you down? Are they the kind of friends who challenge you, encourage you to grow and share your ideal flawed? So will be the foundation. Look closely at who you spend your time with. Do these people lift you up or drag you down? Are they the kind of friends who challenge you, encourage you to grow and share your ideal? It's crucial to plant yourself among those who enrich your soul, not just occupy your time. The idea isn't to seek out perfect companions, but to find those who add value to your life in meaningful ways. It's about crafting a circle that motivates you to step up, not settle for mediocrity. Embracing this journey can be empowering. Think about what you feed your mind and spirit daily. Are you in engaging in conversations that stretch your intellect and nourish your soul? It's about assembling your own team of modern day Stoics, those who dare you to question, reflect and grow, just as Seneca shared. We learn as we teach by engaging with minds that push our boundaries. We not only reach new heights, but redefine our limits. Eric's story might inspire you here after hours of watching videos on his favorite Stoicism channel, The Stoic Community. He stumbled across insights on overcoming rejection and dealing with negativity. Something clicked for Eric that night. He felt driven, intrigued by the Stoic wisdom he'd uncovered that very night. 
Eric dreamed of debating life's big questions with Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epicus. It was surreal, talking about resilience and virtues until beep, beep, his alarm yanked him back to reality. If you like Eric are ready to dive deeper beyond just watching videos and truly embody these Stoic principles, check out the link in the description for our free Stoic newsletter. That dream wasn't just a random event, it symbolised his deep dive into Stoicism, beyond casual viewing into a profound, life-altering journey. If you're ready to take your understanding and application of Stoicism beyond the basics, Join our community by checking out the free newsletter just like Eric. You too can embark on a journey that might just transcend what you thought was possible. Eight stop fearing change in the depths of despair. It might seem like change as an insurmountable mountain. A disruption we often wish to avoid at all costs. But here lies. The real talk change is the only constant and fearing it only holds us back from discovering our true 